All right guys, so this week's video is gonna be a little bit different. It's gonna be a behind the scenes look into just how I make and set up my videos. So it's not wasting time, let's get straight into it. What's up guys, Andrew F here, and today you're in for a treat because I'm gonna give you a behind the scenes look at just how I set up and make my videos. I'm gonna show you all the equipment and everything that goes into it to make all the magic happen. But first, if you're new here, this channel is all about teaching you the necessary skills you need to go full time with your filmmaking and start crushing it in the market. So if that's something you're into, be sure to hit the subscribe button down here and turn on the bell notification so you get notified every single time I release a new video. All right, so I'm gonna jump over onto the C100 so I can show you guys a bit of a, a real behind the scenes rather than just showing you off this camera and we can go through step by step how I go through everything and make videos. All right, so this is the main room where all the magic happens. It's actually, uh, it's actually a podcast room at, uh, at the office that I'm currently sharing a space with, uh, with Matt and Justin. And uh, this is where my main filming happens. So I guess the first main thing that we always see in the videos is this backdrop. Now I can't take credit for this. This is actually a lot of Matt's stuff. I've just kind of come and commandeered it. So this is pretty much like all Matt's stuff. I think there's like one or two books down here that's mine, but this this is all Matt. So this is like his backdrop for his podcast as well. Uh, I just come in here and just, just pretend it's mine. So. Thanks, Matt. Appreciate it. All right, now the main reason you're probably here is all the gear that's going on and how I set it up. So let's get straight into this and figure out exactly what I've got and uh, the reasoning behind why I do what I do. So the main bit of gear is the Canon C200 with the Sigma 18 to 35 mil f1.8 lens on it. This setup is like hands down the best thing I've ever bought. It is just the ultimate package for what I do. Um, and all the videos that I've produced since I've got this have just been like tip top, absolutely love it. So this is my go-to beast um, and I have no regrets buying this, it is amazing. Holding up the C200 is the Viltrox VX18M. Now this tripod is, for the price, absolutely amazing. Um, it's not very expensive, it's got a fluid head and it's super sturdy. Um, the fluid head isn't like the best, like it does grab every so often, but like, it is just absolutely amazing for the price. Um, I highly recommend it. Um, and you really need a sturdy tripod when you got a big heavy camera like this on it. So definitely something to invest in. All right, so coming off the C200 is an XLR cable, which runs all the way over to this, which is a new stand that I just got, which is a boom stand for the microphone, which is up there. Um, I used to use a cheaper one, but I've just recently upgraded to this and it's been absolutely amazing. It means I can boom right in and I can keep this out of the way. Um, and I can get my mic nice and close to my mouth so I get nice crispy audio. Now while we're on the mic, let's touch on this. So this is a Sony ECM VG1. Now um, this isn't like any specific mic that I've chosen. I do have an NTG2, but it's playing up. So this is the mic that I've referred to. Um, I actually got this with my C100 Mark II and it's been absolutely amazing. So this is my main mic that I record all the audio from. And then you notice that I only actually ever use one light for my setups. Even when I'm doing commercial jobs, I only ever use one light. Um, I think this is more than enough, um, but this is just the setup that I like. You, know, you can do other stuff, but this is what I go for. So this is a Godox SL60W. These lights are, for the price are absolutely amazing. I think you're picking up for about 150 bucks. So very, very cheap and does the job very, very well. And it's actually got a um, Godox Octobox on it. I think this is a 120 centimeter one. Um, this one is absolutely amazing because it's nice and big. So we get nice soft light. Um, and we don't have to pump it up too high anyway. I think this is on about 25% light and there's more than enough coming out of this. And that is just on one of these uh, C stands. I've only just recently got this. Um, this has been an absolutely amazing upgrade because now I can boom it over and I can get, actually get the light right above me. Usually I used to kind of have it here right above the camera looking down, but I really like the look of when it's right above you. Um, I think the light's just really nice and it's really even. So this has been a really good upgrade for me um, and it means I can get it right above. Where I'm sitting. So when we're not using this room for filming, it's used to produce podcasts. Um, otherwise, if not, we're having meetings in here or just using it as like a, an escape zone or a chill out zone. All right, so that's pretty much a look at the, all the equipment and the lighting setup that I use to make my videos. Um, there's also an RGB light behind here. Um, you just change the color with one of these little remotes so you can choose the color that you want. 
Um, I tend to use blue just because it's teal and it's like teal orange and it works really well. Um, but yeah, we can use any color we want and we kind of just change it up depending on what we're shooting. Um, but apart from that, that is this main area. Um, I try to keep it quite simple. I don't want to overdo anything. Um, one light setup, one camera. I'd sometimes do two camera, but I generally just use one camera now, one mic. Um, the, there's a backup audio on the camera, which is just the internal, just in case. Now uh, this mic stops working for some reason, always use a backup audio. Oh, I cannot stress that enough. Cause there's nothing worse than filming all this and then you realize the audio is actually bad and then you have no backup and you're just done. So always have a backup audio source. I usually have one or, or two backups and when I'm shooting commercially, just in case. I never end up using them, but God forbid if something happens, then there is a backup, so always do it. And then pretty much from there, um, I usually script out all my videos now, so I just have a notes app on my phone and it just has the script on it. And I basically just go through, read off it, check it off, make sure I've got everything that I wanna talk about. Um, we have actually just recently got a teleprompter in the studio, um, so I'm gonna try start using that and see how that works, see if I like it or not. Um, but that is something cool that we can try and, and see if that works. Um, apart from that, shoot all the stuff and then chuck it onto the computer and then go through the edit and uh, get it ready to upload and yeah, chuck it onto YouTube and get it ready for you guys to watch. So that's pretty much my setup. Um, there's a few bits of fancy equipment here like the C200 and a few of the lights and stuff like that, but you, you don't need all this stuff to start making videos. Um, you can start with whatever you've got. Um, any lights you have, just, just make sure you try to diffuse them a bit. You can use, you know, sheets or, you know, diffusion panels or reflectors or whatever to try to diffuse it a bit. Um, try to get it as close to the subject as you can and then you get a nice soft light source like this rather than having harsh shadows. And color seems to be a thing that every YouTuber does. So you need to have color to be a YouTuber. So get some RGB lights and and you can say you can go yourself a YouTuber, so yeah. So guys, that's pretty much my setup, the behind the scenes of how I make my videos. Um, when I'm doing a, a tutorial on location, I generally just take the C200. Um, I'll either put it on a gimbal, on a Ronin S, or I'll do a handheld. I've actually really been loving handheld lately. I, I usually never do handheld, but yeah, something about a handheld now the C200, I can get it really smooth. Um, so I think I'm gonna shoot more handheld on the C200 moving forward. But guys, that pretty much concludes it for this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing a, you know, a bit of a behind the scenes look at how I make my videos, the equipment that I use and how I set it up. If you have any questions about the equipment that I'm using or why I'm using it, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Give a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and subscribe for more videos like this. Oh, and turn the bell notification so you're notified every single time I release a new video. And as always, happy filmmaking, and I'll see you on the next one. See ya.